If you recognize the name Tippi Hedren, you're most likely familiar with Hitchcock's famous movie The Birds in the 60s, where she played the main character. This was also her major breakthrough that put her up on the Hollywood big screen. But you may not know that she's also a humanitarian and an animal rights activist and lived to help others, both humans and animals. To tell her story on a set of nails, I decided to tell the Hollywood actress Tippi on one hand and the personal Tippi on the other. In the early 1960s, Tippi was discovered by the movie producer Alfred Hitchcock, who eventually offered her the lead role in his upcoming movie The Birds. So of course I had to do a large, frightening bird pushing itself out of a nail. This head is made with some foil covered with black acrylic, and the wings are all made with black acrylic on top of a plastic bag with a sketch underneath. Tippi was immediately a Hollywood hit, however, her relation with Hitchcock was everything but normal. He became obsessed with her and wanted to control her every move. He decided who she would talk to, when to eat, what to drink, where to go, etc. After her second movie with Hitchcock, she told him that she wanted to get out of the contract and he responded that he would ruin her career. He held her in the contract for two years, paying her to do nothing. Eventually, he sold the contract to Universal, as she could continue her movie career. She's won several awards, such as a Golden Globe in 1964 and received a Hollywood star on the Walk of Fame in 2003. I wanted the index finger to represent her successful movie career, despite and thanks to Hitchcock. On the bird nail, I added some silver flakes to make it look like a shattered mirror or window. The Hitchcock nail was inspired by a famous picture of him where he's holding a clapperboard. The pinky on the movie hand was inspired by one of many pictures and scenes from the movie The Birds, with the dark, cloudy sky filled up with black birds. On the thumb, I painted the famous silhouette of Hitchcock and then wrapped a crow claw around it to represent his obsession of Tippi and how he held her down. Now you know a little bit more about the actress Tippi. But did you know that she has an animal preserve called Shambhala, filled with rescued lions, tigers, leopards, cheetahs, and even an African elephant? I created a lion to represent her love for animals, the Shambhala Preserve, and to highlight her ability to empower people in need. Tipe has always had a big heart, and during the 1970s, a lot of Vietnamese people fled to America because of the Vietnam War. And together with the international relief organization Food for the Hungry, she began visiting refugees at Hope Village in California. The Vietnamese women were all fascinated by Tipe's manicured nails, and so she had an idea that this would be a great way to help them getting out into the American labor market. She flew her own manicurist over once a week to teach the women about the business, and then collaborated with a local beauty school to help them find jobs. This nail represents how she helped the Vietnamese women in America and how she wanted them to experience the American dream. In 2014, C&D and the Beauty Changes Lives Foundation announced the Busy L C&D Tipi Hedren Nail Scholarship Fund to support prospective and newer students entering a nail program. I'm all about education and this is something that really touches my heart. I wanted to highlight her effort on actually getting these women a proper education and also the scholarship by creating this education nail with a chalkboard, a nail book, a diploma and an apple of course.
I wanted to create a bird cage with an open door to represent her ability to open doors and give new opportunities and hope to both humans and animals. Cherry Blossom Tree is a connection both to the Vietnamese culture and her strive to make people grow. These trees are a very common decoration to use in Vietnam during the New Year celebration and the tree itself stands for beauty, a little representation of the beauty industry that helped these women and to celebrate life which Tiffy wants everyone to experience. The stills are actually hair from a hairbrush, and then I added super small balls of white acrylic on top. The pinky is representing her very poised, elegant and proper style. This dress is actually the one that she wore in the birds, but I feel like it's a good representation of her chic ladylike style. Fun fact, I actually started off with a coral red color as a base to represent her old nails but ended up by filling the space up with a new tone to match the color theme. And this is the final result. You can vote for this set of course, the links are all listed in the box below. Thank you so much for watching and hey do!